How's it guys? Today is the first day of the rest of your lives. No, I'm kidding. Today we are off to Copenhagen. We're just making a little coffee. So we've got a bit of stuff to do before we go and we've got about 45 minutes to do it. So I'll check in with you guys when we start heading out. For such a seasoned traveler, I've left this one a little bit late. <laughs> You guys won't know this, but Sav's family used to call her lastminute.com because everything was left to the last minute. But this one's not on her. Uh, we just left a lot of chores and stuff that we needed to do uh, prior to leaving till the last minute. So I wonder how this camera is faring in the low light. my wallet straight up my pocket I felt it as he went and the door closed so he it's just a clip. He, he got onto the train and he just stood right by the door when people were trying to filter in and it was like he pushed past me to get to the door and so it was yeah and then I was standing there had my hand on the camera and my other hand on the suitcase and as, a, as, we, as everyone kind of settled on the train, I checked my pockets and I was like, okay, got my phones. So luckily I still have both my phones. And then I checked my other one and I was like, he just stole my wallet and turned around and he'd hopped off the train already. Doors had closed and we were moving. So um, just like that, which is just super frustrating. Um, negatives are that uh, it's going to turn me into an asshole for at least the day. I don't have any of my bank cards so I literally can't pay for anything on this trip and the majority of the money that we really spend on this trip is on my account <laughs> which is great. Um, positives are that my wallet can't get stolen in Copenhagen. <laughs> I mean we're on the plane, we've got our accommodation sorted so worst comes to worst. Um, the all you can eat breakfast is just gonna have to do it. It's gonna suffice. <laughs> Welcome to Copenhagen! It's cold. It is cold. I thought you said it was going to be good weather. It is. It's cool. Scandinavia. Uh, I brought one warm top. I like that slogan. Probably the best beer in the world. Cheers. The old universal signage for one minute shush doggy bike. It's an it's a old tradition in... Watch out for pickpockets. Train stations are a hot spot for those mother hotel Astoria. Right as we come out of the station, that's that is convenience. If you if you ask me, which you didn't, but I'm gonna tell you. I really wanted to be not phased by the pickpocket incident, and I wasn't when I was on the plane because I felt like there was nothing I could do about it and all that. But I am phased. Okay, so I'm gonna be in a bit of a pussy mood for the rest of the day. And you guys are just gonna have to deal with it like I have to deal with getting pickpocketed. These are cool though, bike parking lots. I'll try not to be too pissy. We have come into Grillen Festo Bro for lunch. It's a burger bar. We are just getting some John Doe's. I'm popping myself to a beer because I need one because this has turned into an absolute ball ache for both of us now. I don't know if that's the same thing or if those are two different options, but either way, that's what I'm getting because there's only six Krona more than a soda. I think the message underneath the food is very, very important right now. Just keep calm and eat. <laughs> Burger looks good. The beer is nice, nice and light. Let me try these chips. Those are nice chips. Okay, we're gonna eat. Eat to get happy. All right, so that's that place. It's called, shit, what was it called? Grillen. Fester bro, we're gonna pop into a little because there was a little along the way. We just need a little bit of groceries. <laughs> Check out these cool smeg kettle, lemon juicer, or anything juicer. Another kettle. This is actually a pretty beautiful. I mean, I wasn't noticing it before because of uh, we were, we were in around, yeah. such sour 
noodles walking around here just looking at everything that was available what food we could get but yeah it's a pretty beautiful city hey eh? yeah Gundtoft 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 we have to stop into this store it's called how about that might not even be the name but it just looks like it's full of that rubbish that you don't need but that you want okay wow that was really an guys, absolutely nothing store you guys know those stores that like they look nice on the outside and then there's just like they sell a whole bunch of crap that no one needs yeah. but you want it like just nothing shops that was the biggest nothing shop i have ever seen look at this a south african shiraz shiraz rosé that's not south africa just lumping us in going for it south so here we have the oldest swing door in Copenhagen terrorizing people since 1935 here is our room oh this is nice hey okay do you guys want a room tour we've got this table that's where my feet are gonna go when I sit on the couch they've got uh, finicky doors apparently <laughs> they've got a kettle there we go that's all that Sav cares about, really. Well, kettle and cleanliness, the two Ks. <laughs> and then we've got a little flat screen TV over here. We've got our mirror here, practicing all our uh, uh, b-boy breakdance moves. By the way, I'm selling these pants if anybody wants them. They're good for nothing. <laughs> okay, and then our bathroom. Oh, Okay, classic, standard, I like the marbling. Okay, I'm gonna test drive this bad boy. As if this day couldn't have gone any worse. What's up, Sav? Yes, I bought sour milk. I don't know how, I was just like, oh, this looks like milk. Then I like opened it and it was like really thick and chunky, so I was like, oh shit, I bought cream, and then I poured it into my tea and... Yeah, that's nasty. Oh girl, she nasty. Let's see what take means. Thick, thick milk. So all of, it's just saying it's thick milk. Yeah, that's thick. That's thick. So I didn't have any milk. There wasn't any milk in the fridge. So Sav, what are you watching? I googled take milk, and um, this chick came up her YouTube video. She's some chick who moved to Denmark, on <laughs> Copenhagen, and it was like my milk woes in Copenhagen. So I'm watching her milk woes because apparently this happens quite regularly. So I'm not the only one that bought sour milk. So, I have found a problem with the hotel room. It's this, obviously you can, damn! So we had a little nap and I woke up and I thought we were getting like raided by the polizia or something with like flashlights. It was, look how bright that is. Look at the contrast between my cheek and the shadow here. No, no, it's just spring. Yeah, so what's up with giving us a room facing the sunset? How rude. <laughs> I'm up now though, and feeling better. Might have a sip of that yogurt. Not the yogurt, sour milk. <laughs> this is the view from my balcon. Oh, beer. Spotted that from a while away. Down here we got Mado. Hey, Mado. And we've got a building where you can drive underneath it. Bus. And we are back off. I've got my backpack. There's a it's not really a sunset. Well, I mean, technically it is a sunset. But it's not really a sunset that's going down. So I've got my camera with me just in case anything happens. It's got a bit of cloud that you can see the sun is officially in golden hour. We're gonna go find some dinner. A lot of you guys recommended this place and the person from the tourist board that we're working with. Based? Based. 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 It's the based. We'll see, I'll show you when we get there. So we do have to go through Tivoli Gardens, which is over there. But look at this, there's a photo here that'll happen. It'll be in portrait mode, so just turn your head or turn your screen. That's happening. Not right now though. Yeah, we have little travel card things which would get us in there for free, but we've only got them for 72 hours from the first time we use them, so we're gonna start them tomorrow so that we get maximum hourage out of them. Otherwise, we use it now and then we lose like eight hours overnight, over the first night, right? Yeah. Cool. Something that I just realized, I've just ignored one of my own tips from my photography tips video. I where know what it is. Can I tell you? Yes. I have just a guess. Don't put your camera away. Exactly. <laughs> because now I didn't take that photo earlier because I was like, oh, I'll get it. I'll get it another time. Ah, oh. no, but it's literally attached to the building next to us. So um, I really will. Do as I say, not as I do. That's the that's the key. 
So there's our sunset happening right opposite Medusa nightclub. Look at this. It's got a weird charm about it. Trains down there. Tra You've got to put both your hands up. Tra Did you know that the popular British reality TV show X Factor originated in Copenhagen? Oh yeah? Yeah, because it started off with do you have what it takes to be famous? Do you have that F factor? Well now would you look at that? That's beautiful. I'm taking the camera out. There's nothing you can say to stop me. We just walked across this bridge. All sorts of things going on. We don't know what is happening. There's people chilling, having wine. There's that guy cycling his bike with a massive speaker. He was rocking out. <laughs> what? What? What is this place? Organic meats, based quality pizza. Based, beast, based, beer, beer, based. For drinks, I'm gonna go for a beer from Tap. I'm gonna get the Colster. I don't, I honestly can't tell you if that's the same thing that I had uh, earlier, but I'm gonna go for the based one. Probably you should really find out how to say this. I asked our waiter and he's, and I asked, how do you say based? And he just nodded, so I got it right. This place, so upstairs, what he said, upstairs they have a butchery and a, a cheesery, dairy type vibe. So they make all their own cheeses and meats. So you see, they got the charcuterie, they got the cheeses. Um, yeah, so we're gonna maybe try a pizza that combines the two, but otherwise, this uh, we're gonna go for the roasted cauliflower, based ricotta, and dried olives salad. So we've decided to go with number five here: beast mozzarella, semi-dried tomatoes, and prosciutto. And check, you can see in the kitchen, you guys slice the ham here. We've got a pizza oven over there. This is a really cool restaurant. Here is arrived. Yes. Yes. <laughs> It's cauliflower. I don't know what the green stuff on the cauliflower is, but we've got some fresh ricotta cheese with dried olives. Let's get first bite reaction. South African tries Danish food. Den Denmark food. Copenhagen food. Yeah? Yeah? Alright, let me let me get in. Here we go. Oh. Warm. Mm. Mm. That is unreal. It hit me straight away because it was warm. I wasn't expecting it to be warm, but... Uh, mm. It's really nice because cauliflower was crunchy. Mm. The ricotta is super creamy. And then the olives are very, very... Um, salty. Yeah. Salty. Mm. And then there's like a vinaigrette that's a bit fresh. Mm. Mm. There you can see Mandem slicing the... I don't know what he's slicing, but... It could be the prosciutto for our pizza. It could actually be our... Sorry, our pizza. What did you say? Did you say pizza? No, I didn't. There we go, they have dimmed the lights, but they have also brought the good stuff. And they said we can eat it with our hands because it's already cut. Fantastic. Oh, that feels good. It feels so right. That prosciutto is very good. While we, uh, huh? I'm having a little toffee. Toffee feet. Oh, wow. Wow, that's good. Oh, it's got a little nut in there. So, one of these. Mm. So we skipped out on dessert. I wasn't feeling that hungry. And Saf needed to get some more yogurt for her tea. <laughs> so, <laughs> so funny to you. It was really funny to it's me. It's not even yogurt, it's sour. But yeah, so we got some we got some more Sav for milk's tea and then we uh, we decided to pick up a little treat as well. Not traditionally Scandinavian or Danish, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a bit of a haul on the last day with any leftover monies that I've saved up in my little cochon bank. And uh, I'm gonna buy a bunch of, uh -huh. I'm gonna buy a bunch of random, hopefully Danish, or just random sweets and treats and things from the little shops. And I'm gonna try them and film it all. It's a little something store has caught someone's eye. These two people in front of us because we are continuing <laughs> on. <laughs> Families getting fat. These are like the type of things that you remember their names from when you're a kid. And you're like, oh my god, I want to go down to the sweetie shop and get some... Some... We have found a map. Here is where we are. Here, star, do. And we're going over to here, which is where we are. We're going, oh yeah, there's our place there. Yeah. And apparently this place is like a... Apparently, what's the vibe? Um, it's like, it's called Freetown, Christiana. Uh-huh. And the idea is that... 
there's have like an agreement with authorities, the people that run it, uh, or the government and police. And it's kind of like, you guys can do whatever you want within those boundaries of that free town. Um, as long as none of it spills into... Oh, and isn't it stuff. monitored by like the Hells Angels? Yeah. Hectic. Hectic. Which one by now? They all support Arsenal and... I don't know if that's if I'm, that must be it. I'm guessing. That might be it. We don't know. We don't actually know right we now. We don't know anything. In fact, one of us was surprised that Copenhagen is um, so big. Guys, it's the balls. It's the balls. It's the Chinese balls. We're walking past a Chinese shop, and it's in our flat in Paris. And everyone has in all of their flats in everywhere. Okay, that's a wrap from day one of Pussy Matt. <laughs> um, no, I swear that'll be the only day. Tomorrow we're going to wake up. It's going to be a brand new day. What are we doing tomorrow? We're we going canaling or possibly going on the canals tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. That'll be episode two of the Copenhagen trip. Today was obviously just off piste a little bit. <laughs> I was not in the mood. It was just such an inconvenience. Anyway, I'll check you guys tomorrow for another Slice of Matt. That's I should that's a good sign. Mm, that's a good one. Well, yeah, that's all.